Hey guys, this is Chris from the Blazing Show with Chris. Um, this is another special involving Todd Kessler,、uh, and he's a singer as well. Hey Todd,、um, you ready? Uh, uh, oh yeah, you're on, Todd.、Uh, so to anybody who's listening out there. Oh, cool. Hey. <laughs> so,、uh, um, how are you, Todd? I can't believe I'm talking to you. The, the Todd Kessler. Introduce yourself a little. Tell us a little about yourself, Todd.、Uh, my name is Todd Kessler. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I am a musician and songwriter. And、um, yeah, I guess you're well, one of the creators、know. for Blues Clues, right? No. No. Oh. No, that's that's one of the other Todd Kesslers. <laughs> oh wow! I can't believe you're trying to get in touch with that one. What? Is that the one you've been trying to get in touch with? Hmm. Uh, somewhat. Yeah,、uh, somewhat. So, but、uh, but yeah, look, oh, tell us you're a musician. I might, I might have、yeah. uh, mistaken that. But still, tell us why you're、okay. a musician. You're the new folk, by any chance? Yeah, that's yeah, that's me. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um. Well, ex、uh, exactly. Uh, you were in the Voice also, by the by the way, right? Okay,、That's、tell、true. us your experience on like what what led up to you becoming from from like when you first started as a singer and then up to, up to the voice, etc. And what's it like,、uh, sure. the voice? Yeah, sure.、Um, you know, I just I've been a singer for like all my life since I was a little kid. Wow. And、uh, started playing guitar and writing songs when I was around twelve years old. And then、um, you know. Decided that music was something I wanted to pursue. So when I graduated college, I started、um, recording music and playing shows and playing gigs、um, and touring around. And、um, when the voice came came around, you know,、um, I liked it a lot more than American Idol. I never wanted to audition for American Idol, but I watched the voice. I thought it was really cool. So I just kind of went for it, and、um, you know, made it through all the different、uh, audition. Processes and you know got got picked for a team. I was on Team Celo, and、um, it was a really really amazing experience. I got to learn a lot a lot about the business, a lot about performing and singing, of course.、Um, and of course, I got to work with Celo himself, and he also brought in Rob Thomas from Matchbox Twenty, who we got to work with a little bit.、Um, so it was just a really 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 great experience. Um, can you talk about、um, some of your songs? Because,、uh, like, especially that one from that's called Hallelujah. That that that's yeah. a good one. Yeah, you know,、um, I definitely write from a personal place. However, I tend to,、um, you know, if I'm writing about something very specific, I tend to put it in a way or use the kind of use a you know kind of language that. Is not necessarily specific to what I'm writing about, but rather、um, more conveys、um, a certain emotion, a certain feeling, so that whoever's listening to the song can、um, kind of relate to it in their own way and relate to、um, you know relate it to their story as opposed to mine. And with Hallelujah,、um, that song for me was. You know, if I write for,、uh, in that song, it's kind of about coming to the realization that,、um, you know, in life we're so we're so wired to and programmed, you know, go from okay, we're going from point A to point B, and then from point B to point C. Whether it's you know, from high school you go to college, from college you go to grad school, from grad school you get a job, and, you know. And for me, it wasn't necessarily like that, and so I I kind of came to the realization that you know, life isn't so much about The places that we're going to, but rather what happens on the way to those places, and that's kind of what Hallelujah is about. Wow.、Um, do, yeah. do you have many、uh, so many songs besides that one? Because I don't know if you have. Do you have a bunch of songs? Because I, I thought only. Oh yeah. Oh, what's a, what's another what's another song? Because I've been focusing on that one, but if you want, you could talk、okay. about well, some I mean, other ones. Yeah, 
Yeah, I've got, uh, well, I've released under my own record label. I've had, yeah, yeah, I started the record label when I graduated college, and it's really just to release my own music under. Um, you know, we don't we don't release other other artists' music, at least not yet. Um, so I've released two full-length albums, two EPs, and two singles, three singles, um, in the past. So I have I've, the number of songs, I don't know, 20-something on iTunes, I'd say. Wow. Damn, yeah. that's 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 amazing. Um, uh, newest one, of the newest ones. Um, uh, there's put your there's well there's, besides have yourself a, a little Christmas and put you in my pocket. Exactly where I should be is the newest one. Can you talk about that one. That's correct. Yeah. So, um, that song is actually about coming home from from the voice, and you know I was definitely when you come home from something like that. You know, you're going from being uh, pampered, if you will, and you're living this L.A. lifestyle and you're, you know, you're living in a hotel and you're filming things for the show and, you know, you're around, you know, celebrities on the show and, and, then, and then you go and you come home and it's like nothing happened. You're still doing the things you were doing every day. And so um, that song, that was exactly where I should be, is kind of, is kind of like the acceptance of that, it was kind of the acceptance of this is where I am, this is where I'm in my life and my career, and and what's the point in wishing I was somewhere else? You know, this is where I am, and I'm I'm happy with that. Well, when you went to Voice, you didn't go that far into comp- the competition, no, right. in the in the Voice. Um, what exactly is it like when you since it's just a this is a competition. What, what exactly? Because you, you, since you didn't go far, what? Ex- why do you think you didn't go far? I don't know if you made you know, the first round or something. Yeah, I got I got to the, the second round. So it's yeah, it's an interesting show, and it's just the whole idea of music as a competition is is a little bit of a flawed model in that music is subjective. So if you like something, I might not like that same thing. You know, um, so the reason I, I think I got voted off when I did was it, it really came down to taste. So I was, um, I, I went, I went out in the battle round. So I was battling or rather singing a duet with a teammate of mine and our voices are totally opposite of each other. You know, mine is, is a little bit higher and it's got a very clear tone and his voice was much lower and more, um, kind of more like raspy, gravelly tone. So our voices are totally different, and CeeLo had to make the choice, our coach. He had to decide one or the other. And, um, you know, his, his natural inclination is, was to uh, kind of go for the guy with the grittier, lower-sounding voice. Um, so it really just came down to taste of our coach, and so that's really, I think, why I got voted off when I did. Um, I don't know if I, if I kept going, I don't know if, if I kept going in the show farther than I did, I still don't think I necessarily would have won the show. Um, but I think I definitely could have gone a little bit farther if circumstances were, were different. But that being said, it is what it is. And I just, you know, I had fun with it. So, huh. wow. um, by the way, when, can you, can you t- uh, talk about your, um, your experience, like being a singer from like a young age to, to now? Because like, there's a bunch of people in the who want to make it in the music industry, but to when was listening. You know, yeah, it's 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 tough. I singing and playing music. I was a little kid, so it, it was all to do it. And you know, if you when I when I decided to make that leap and become a professional, um, you know, it's really hard at first. You get rejected a lot. Um, I, I like to say I get rejected at least once every day in some form or another um, as a musician, whether that's, you know, um, you're trying to book a gig and, and the venue said no, or you're, uh, you're trying to get a song in a commercial and they say no, or, you know, just different kinds of things. Um, but, the, but what I would say is for anyone listening out there that does want to make it easy to um, just if you 
believe in your talent and you and you've got something real, uh, just keep going because there's no there's no one way to quote unquote make it uh, nowadays. You know, I'm a I'm a full time musician, um, and however, I'm still not you know on the radio, but I'm still a full time musician. So there's there's a lot more ways to make it than just you know being a huge pop star or being a rock star or being on the radio and things like that. Um, so if you really do and you believe in it, keep going no matter what. That's what I would say. Wow, that's 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 unbelievable. So how long have you, who do you, like, who would you have a record contract with? And can you talk about some of your band members, the new folk? I assume they remember. Yeah, yeah. Um, what was the first question? Um, If you have a recording contract, because I don't hear much, uh, I don't hear you that much in the mainstream. Yeah. yeah, you know, I don't have a recording contract. Like I said, I have, I release all my, all my music independently via my own label. How did you get your um, own label? Wow. You know, it's really not that hard, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> I, I, was assuming, I, was, really I, I would assume it's very expensive. Forward. You know, it's, well, I will tell you this. It is expensive to create music and to put out albums. Now, I have a record label in paper um, that I use to protect my music. However, um, it is, you know, I still do this independently. So it's kind of like I... I guess you could say I'm, I'm signed to my own label, so yes, it is expensive to create records. Um, now, the money from the label come, just comes from me, because it's me. So, um, but yeah, it can be very expensive. Um, but that's just kind of the price you pay for choosing this line of work. But back to your other question about my band members, um, I, have a core, I have a core rhythm section. Um, Graham and Bob. Graham plays bass and Bob plays uh, drums. And we've been playing together since 2007. And the band itself has evolved. It's had kind of a few different incarn incarnations since then. So we started, we had, um, we had another guitar player in the band named Sam. And then he was in our band for a number of years. And on top of him, we brought in a few other people. We brought in uh, Molly on keys and vocals, who happens to be Bob's wife. And we had um, we had two horn players, a trombone player and a trumpet player, and a violin player and a cello player for a while. So for a while there, we were a nine-piece band. Um, then things after after our album Sea Fever came out, and we played we played a bunch for that album. Um, we decided to stop playing with the horns and the strings, uh, at least regularly, because it just became, with so many people on stage, it becomes pretty complicated and uh, pretty expensive to tour. Um, but so right now, uh, we've been playing a lot as a trio, and sometimes we have our, our uh, other singer, Molly, join us, and sometimes we have our guitar player, Shane, join us, who also happens to be uh, the engineer and producer of our new album that we're working on right now. Well, um, how did you get your own, um, like, you say you, you produce, you actually uh, have your own, re um, your own studio, et cetera, like, I wish I could have I don't have own. my own studio, I don't own a studio, but, um, I work out of a studio called Ivy Lab in Chicago, and like I said, my, the guitar, the other guitar player in my band, Shane, is a engineer and producer, so he we do all of our work out of his studio, which is Ivy Lab, um, and I've been recording there since 2008 um, with a different producer, Manny Sanchez, who has since moved to Los Angeles. So uh, we now work with Shane, who is Manny's um, protege, and um, yeah. Wow. Um. But um. By the way, um. So. After that song, is, is there any other songs that, that you you have in your mind besides the the newest one exactly where I should be? You mean do we have any that we're recording right now? Yeah. Yeah, we're working on a new album right now. We um we've got let's see six songs, so it'll be kind of a like a seven inch EP. 
um, that we're working on right now, currently. We've been working on it actually exactly where I should be was uh, supposed to be the lead single from the album. But what happened was the album was taking a really long time, and so we decided to finish exactly where I should be last year. And uh, we're going to separately release these six songs um, later this year. We should be done tracking in a couple months. So, yeah, sometime later this year, summer or fall, we'll, uh, we'll have a new album out. Wow. Um... But we're definitely exploring some new, some new sounds for us for this album. Definitely. Definitely. Um. Since um. By the way, by any by any chance, um, Todd, um, do you, do you do you mind say, um, well, I never done this, but um, do you think you could you could sing that song, um, Hallelujah? I don't know if you know. <laughs> I'm trying to think how I would do that because I'm on the phone. <laughs> ah. <laughs> and the speakerphone, I don't think it'll work that well. Um. Damn. I don't know. I don't know how logistically if it's gonna work, but I guess you could play the recording of it <laughs> on your show. Damn, that's you. Look, you look like. I, mean, I, would, I would try, but I think it would. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna come through very well. Looks like, but because when I saw the video, it looks like you put me in the ground. Sorry. They took my dreams and shot them down My will is only stronger now For now I have faith And things that have yet to take place My voice you can contain The fire in my chest and I see of their career 
and um, yeah, so that's kind of like, and then and then and then it's also helpful to have a lawyer or a legal team to yeah. kind of deal with any legal issues that may ever come up. Wait, oh, uh, wow, that's that's it's unbelievable. Wait, it's like uh, a wait. team. It's like, it's like having a team. Oh. So uh, I didn't I didn't know it was actually important to have a a lawyer so much when you're a singer. Well, if you're creating your own music, um, if, if you're creating your own music and that you're writing yourself, you need to be able to protect it, and that's where you know that's where a lawyer comes in handy. So. Oh, so when it comes to writing yeah. songs like uh, Hallelujah or the recent ones. You said it takes like um it take it would take like hundreds you know thousands of hours um added like what what, what exactly what exactly did you go through when you actually ha- um uh was were making the song etc you said it was really hard oh okay well I mean uh yeah so um you know writing a song can take anywhere from five minutes to five years you know I've had songs come out literally in five or ten minutes just the whole thing done like that whoa but that's and, some, and sometimes it takes me many years to keep coming back to a song and really, uh, you know, kind of find the right lyrics or the right music. Um, but that's just the writing of the song. The actual recording of the song is a pretty, you know, can be a pretty drawn out process, um, just depending on the situation. So for me, because I finance everything myself, um, I can't necessarily afford to rent out a recording studio for two weeks or a month to be in the studio all day, every day for that month and finish an album. Like, I don't necessarily have the funds to do that. So what people like me do, like like me, independent artists, we, uh, you know, you can, you go to the studio when you can. So, for example, when doing exactly where I should be, you know, we go to the studio one day and then we lay down drums and then the engineer has to... Uh, edit the drum tracks and mix them and then the bass player comes in one day and then leaves on the bass track and the producer or engineer will edit the bass track and then you just kind of layer it on piece by piece um, which is why it can take so long and be such a long drawn out process oh, Speaking of the of the part with the lawyer how did you, you said there's like you and the other Todd Kessler Like, how do you like um, make sure like you don't get mixed up with the other or someone doesn't confuse you. Well, the other the other two Todd Kesslers uh, work in the film industry and I'm in the music industry. So we're in different we're in different aspects of the entertainment industry. So um, it's not a problem for me. Now the other two they are both their both official names have their middle initial and that is how they distinguish themselves. Oh. Yeah. How, uh, by the way, how come you, you you say you have to rent a studio? Is it expensive to have your own studio exactly? Well, I mean, to have a good one, <laughs> to have a good studio costs a lot of money. Um, so that's why. I mean, and I don't I don't know. I'm not an engineer myself, so I wouldn't. I don't have the know how to you know to record in a way that I like. But to rent a, you know to rent out time in a studio can be be fairly expensive each studio is going to have a different you know rate or whatever but um yeah yeah it costs money yeah. oh wow but uh, do you do you you don't know do you know the other two um Todd Kessler's by any chance you said they're in the film industry but I don't I doubt you know them um I've been ac- I've you know I've been acquainted I've, I've emailed a, a few times with one of them but I don't really know them I don't know them oh I thought one of the one of the, if there was more than one Todd Kessler, one of them has probably the creator of Blues Clues, etc. <laughs> well, one of the other ones definitely did. I just don't remember which one. <laughs> I thought it was, wow, that's amazing. So, um, by by any chance, um, what, what would you what would your message be out there for any musicians? Because I see so many people, so many shows like uh, was it Rising Star, uh, the American <laughs> Idol? Do you, do you know any about those shows? And what? Because yeah, you say I mean, you don't I, like American Idol. Yeah, no, I I never tried out for American Idol. I I did try out for Rising Star. I mean, what I would say to people that are trying to make it in music via a reality show is that 
if you don't have any experience going into a show, um, you're probably not going to do very well on that show, or you're not going to make it at all. So you definitely want to go in with some experience and some years under your belt, um, because that's the best way to really maximize on the exposure. You know, I went into the show already having a number of albums released, um, and so I already I already had a career going into the show, um, and I think that's a very important a very important distinction that people need to know is that by, just by being on one of these shows, you're, you, don't, you don't have a career. It's what you do af- before and after those shows that, you know, a career is really built upon. Wow. Um, yeah. Th- what about the, sh- the show America's Got Talent? Do you know, do you know anything about that one? Uh, I've seen it. Um, I think I tried out for the first season, actually. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. But, no, I don't know much about it. It's like they have like th- like a th- like a thousand of people try out for it, but like I never actually uh, heard you on the show. So, but like, yeah, no, 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 no. but like, oh, but so how come you prefer the voice over both of them put the um or the th- three of them by any chance? Um, I thought I thought the voice um like not what sounding elitist or anything. With any, not sounding elitist or anything. I thought the voice had more class if you will. I thought they, oh. they they took the format and they brought it to a more interesting place. And also the biggest thing really was that when I watched the show, I saw the people that were on the show and they were, a lot of these people like it were actual musicians that played instruments and sang and wrote their own music and had already, you know, kind of been doing it. Um, so that was the part of the show that really drew me to it was the fact that they invited musicians to try out not just singers so you know the fact that i played guitar you know although i did not play guitar in the show i probably would have if i had gone farther and that was an option so i like that's what i liked about the voice oh wow um wow i guess it's it's the wow i I don't i I don't think i would have made it myself personally on the voice but i kind of like the got talent one. America's Got uh-huh. Talent. Do you know anybody like Taylor Ware, Bianca Ryan, um, Kenichi Bina, the guy who uh, Latte no. Dogs? Do you know any of them? No. They like were in it, and they actually made it very far too. Really? Yeah. Well, um, thanks for being on, uh, Todd. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Um, good and best of luck with you and in, in uh, your upcoming album. And where where can people check it out by any chance? Is it on like an uh, iTunes? Or well, well, you can go to iTunes, or you can go to our website, thenewfolk.net. dot uh, net. We're also on Bandcamp and SoundCloud. All right, thanks. Thank you very much, Todd. You're welcome. Thanks so much. Have a good one. You too. Bye. 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 Well, guys, that was Todd Kessler. I thought it was a guy from Blue's Clues, but turns out there's three of them. And, you know, you know, and that's, that's unbelievable. And how he, and legally how he could protect himself that uh, in case of anything, like, so the lawyer, having a lawyer would be useful there. Wow. So well, best of luck to him and his endeavors.